do you feel like you guys have kind of earned the number one spot, uh, the number one seed potentially in the NCAA tournament? We certainly, you know, uh, playing 51 games coming in today, I believe we have to be back. Um, you know, didn't, didn't really play very well today, and their guy threw the ball well when he needed to, and uh, we uh, helped him out with an error there. That, uh, we certainly weren't going to extend our uh, Friday starter, you know, I mean, uh, with a situation uh, knowing that we're in a regional, and, uh, you know, we knew that ahead of time, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, absolutely, you know, uh, 41 and 10, I think our RPI coming in today was uh, 5. So played a really good schedule. Our kids have played well from start to finish. And you guys have been getting timely hits and stuff all season, but your pitching staff has just been incredible for you all year. Um, how how is the they, how have they been able to do, do it so well with Ben being out at the beginning of the season and, and you know just filling the roles continually and, and Scott's moving back and forth for you? Um, what can you say about how well your pitching staff has done this season? Well, I'm glad you follow us. You're pretty you're pretty good there. You got Scott moving back and forth. Yeah, you're right. We had to make shift that a little bit, but Coach Yeski's done a great job with our kids. Uh, you know, we've had to throw some freshmen out there. You know, today is a perfect example. You know, uh, uh, we had to run two of them out there, but they've just been real consistent. I think they've got the ball uh, down in the zone for the most part. I think that Fry um, and Mo have been good. Um, obviously, they'll have many early. Probably cost us a game or two, but uh, a couple of freshman kids do real well for us. And uh, just, I think, that consistency and uh, feeling pretty comfortable with having guys like uh, Concordo and Davis and Kais and those veteran guys behind them. But, you know, uh, for a lot of the season, we've had three freshmen starting at short and third behind the plank. So uh, that part, I think, is pretty impressive for those kids uh, for what they've done. And, uh, you know, it's difficult. Uh, Trevor Morrison has played every inning of every game, the only guy in the club. And, you know, at 160 pounds, uh, not only does it mentally get a little tough, but physically gets a little tough, too. And you, uh, with a guy like, like Morrison, with your freshmen, it seems like guys like that about halfway through conference every year, you have freshmen that kind of either hit a wall or kind of take that next step. Do you feel like your guys have taken that next step and are kind of sophomores now? Well, you know, they've been pushed into it. You know, Kai's broke his thumb, and he was out for five weeks. It's the first time we've had him back. Uh, uh, the glue in our infield is, is Andy Peterson, a senior kid, and he started every game for us, sprained his ankle last week and didn't play in the last game against Washington, and they didn't play Tuesday and didn't play today. So, you know, that was difficult on us today because I felt like there was a situation there earlier where uh, we had a guy in third, he's able to do a lot of things with the bat, and, um, you know, we just didn't. We just didn't do some things right. The guys just going position, and then we booted the ball, and you know that would have got uh, Jason another inning. But uh, like I said, you know we uh, we don't want to jeopardize what we're doing next weekend, and uh, we feel like our pitch should come in and be able to hold guys till we can get the show. So we didn't do that today. And, and talking about uh, next weekend hosting, more than likely, um, you guys had you moved Ben back with the suspension last week to Sunday. It looks like he's going to pitch tomorrow for you. Yeah, he's is the tomorrow. is the plan to bring him back on Friday next week? Move him up one day. We'll see. we'll see who we play and, you know, kind of look at that. I think any one of those guys could throw, you know, uh, Fry more or uh, uh, West, depending on who we play and what the matchup is. You know, we kind of do that quite a bit where we look at the club and figure out who we think is a better matchup. And they've kind of slid around a little bit, you know, and uh, certainly uh, last weekend we got a little bit uh, discombobulated a little bit. And, uh, uh, we were able to recover from that, win a big series there, and put ourselves in a position that we got a chance to win the conference championship. And tell me, Coach, last thing, uh, how do you compare this team to you win a couple championships with your teams that have gone to Omaha previously? How does this team match up, uh, compare with those guys? Do, do they have the, the parts necessary to, to be able to make that run? Well, I've never had uh, a team that went to Omaha that had so many freshmen start. You know, uh, certainly the veteran pitching reminds me of a, uh, our 06 club who we went in there and had uh, Jonah and, uh, and Buck and, and uh, Stutes all lined up. Um, you know, uh, we had the closure there with Gundy, and um, you know we got the closure here with Schultz. We got some power in the corner a little bit, uh, but you know I think that every one of those clubs is a little bit different. The thing I would tell you is that I don't think we got uh, as much experience in the infield, uh, but those guys have handled a little well. You know, uh, Josh started. Uh, they're they're in first place in one of the two or three best team conferences in America, so uh, they've done a nice job.